Miss Davis here. I hope you've had a lovely weekend. This weekend, we've been playing outside, haven't we? We've been to soft play. Um, so we've had a very, very fun, packed weekend. And I hope you all have shown. So this, this well, tonight, I will be reading you Miles' favourite book, and it is The Little Lost Penguin. So I hope, Griffins, that you are ready and you're nice and comfy. So, right then, to start it. Ready? Little Lost Penguin An egg sat on the slippery ice As cold as cold could be It perched alone a tiny shape Down by the icy sea Then suddenly the eggshell broke And out came a tiny beak A penguin chick sat on the ice And gave a little squeak He shook his body and looked around and flapped his wings too. Feeling all alone, he whispered, A passing gull saw little Chip and swooped down very low. That baby bird that lost, he thought, I'll stop to say, hello. Little Chip said to the gull, it's too cold to be outside. You can shelter under my wing. It's a nice warm place to hide. Can you help, said little Chip. I can't find my mummy. I'm all alone and very cold. Do you know where she could be? Of course I'll help you squawk the gull. Let's fly into the air. We'll be able to see lots of things from all the way up there. It's so much fun, said Little Chick, whizzing over the snow. Look, there's some silly seals playing down below. The seals got so excited. They clapped and yelped, hello. Would you like to play with us? It's fun. Come on, let's go. They had such a great time, slipping, sliding and wriggling. Whee! cried Little Chick, flapping his wings and giggling. Then Little Chick said, thank you both for asking me to play, but I still need to find my mummy. I must be on my way. Suddenly a spurt of water sprayed out of the sea. A giant whale popped up and said, you can ride along with me. So Little Chick held onto the whale. As the waves below would crash, then one big wave came along and he fell in with a splash. Glug, 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 he went, floating past the shimmery, shiny fish. Following them, he flipped his tail and moved his wings with a swish. Swimming faster and faster and flapping more and more, soon Little Chick shot out of the water and back onto the shore. Looking like a soggy ball of fluff, his fur went drip, drip, drip. The whale, the seal and the gull laughed, saying, you've had quite a trip. Suddenly, Little Trip cried, look, pointing with one of his wings. I can see a purple and white, waddling, cheeping things. He tripped and skipped and skidded, but he didn't seem to care. Running through the ice and snow, soon he was almost there. <gasps> When little, little penguin reached the crowd, he pressed around so near. A smiling penguin said, at last, I'll tell our mum you're here. Mum is looking after you. She watched your egg all day. Then a great big storm came up and your egg rolled away. So at long last, little chick had found his family huddle. But best of all, he found his mummy and had a big warm cuddle. Oh, the end. As you can see, I know this book off by heart. So, Griffins, I hope that you have a brilliant week. This is our last um, last week of school, and I hope that you have a fantastic three days, and that we, we, we say farewell to our year sixes, and that we hope that they have a brilliant time in secondary school. Have a, have a great night's sleep, Griffins. See you in the morning.